Hello all, welcome to part 29 of JavaScript for beginners series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically show you how to use super keyword in JavaScript. So let's get started. Super keyword in JavaScript can be used in overriding concept to call the parent class method. Let me practically demonstrate this statement for you so that you can easily understand. I'll switch to the practical mode and here I'll create a sample JavaScript file say demo.js. Here inside this uh, sample JavaScript file, I'll create two classes. Say class A is one thing and another class I'll create guys class B. Okay, class B. Inside the class A, I'll create a method known as M1 method. Inside the class B also, I'll create a M1 method guys. Okay, same M1 method. But I will make this class B a child class of the class A. Okay, now this method in the child class is said to override this method in the parent class, as we already know. Right now, just to differentiate these two methods, I'll write some console.log statements saying inside parent class. Okay, this is parent class, right? Inside parent class, I'll say. Here, just to differentiate this method, even though the method is same, m1, m1 is same in the both parent and child, just to differentiate, I'll write console.log of inside child class okay inside child class fine so far so good now here in the child class i'll create one more method guys i'll say uh, some some uh, sample method okay some sample m sample m method okay the sample method guys there's no particular thing with this method okay here from the sample method I would like to call this m1 like this okay this dot m1 okay from this sample method i am calling this method okay or this method which method is being called guys when i call this m1 which method is called either this method or this method because this b is the child class of the parent class a that means even though the child class b has m1 method okay it also at the same time inherits the same m1 method from the parent class so it has two variants now either this one or this one it has to use when i say this dot m1 so as we already know in the inheritance guys overriding concept of inheritance and whatever it is okay when you try to call this method definitely the method in the child class will be called because this method is said to override the method in the this class that we already know right let's see that let b is equal to new b i'll create an object for the b class and say b dot b dot i'll call the method m1 i'll just change this back to b guys small b this is object reference using the object reference i'm not calling m1 guys i'm calling uh, sample m okay i'll be calling sample m here not m1 okay i'll be calling the sample m so what will happen guys when i call this sample m okay which is there in the child class the sample m is calling this dot m1 that means it will definitely call the method in the child class overridden method in the child class right overriding method in the child class it will call definitely okay you can see that when you call this it will definitely call this m1 which is there in the child class not in the parent class so inside child class will be printed because of overriding concept so let's run this and see whether the same thing is happening or not so i'll just clear this out and say no demo.js you will get inside child class printed that's the thing but what if here instead of this keyword if i use super keyword then what will happen the same example guys the same example i'm just changing the keyword from this to super here what will happen super means parent class okay when i'm calling m1 with the help of super keyword this m1 will not be called from the child class because super means parent itself okay the same method which is there in the parent class will be called not the child class method guys the parent class method will be called okay so now if i call this sample m sample one will be sample m will be calling the same method in the parent class because we are using the keyword known as super super means parent this time when i run this code okay the m1 method in the parent class will be called and inside parent class will be printed guys okay let me run this you see inside parent class got printed this is one of the use of super keyword in javascript okay this is how we use super keyword in javascript guys to call the parent class methods now fine so far so good guys i'll delete this file freshly we'll move to another thing okay 
So what is the other place where super can be used? In JavaScript, apart from calling the parent class method, in uh, apart from calling the parent class method using the super keyword, what is the other place where super keyword can be used? Super keyword can also be used for calling the parent class constructor. Okay, why this has to be used? I'll explain now. Okay, for that also I'll create another sample JavaScript file. Inside that again I'll create class. Okay, I'll create something like class A and again class B. Okay, I'm creating two classes, guys, class A and class B. Inside the class A, I'll create a constructor, guys. Okay, inside the class A, I'll create a constructor like this. This is a constructor, right? So here I'll write some sample console.log statement which will print out inside parent class constructor. Okay, like this. And inside the class B also I'll create a constructor, guys. And I have to make this class B a child class of the parent class. Okay. I have to make this class B a child class of the parent class. I'll do it right away. B extends. A. Okay, now B has become the child of the parent and now I'm creating the constructor inside the child class where I'll be writing the sample print statement saying console dot log of here I'll say inside inside child class constructor. Okay, child class constructor. Now guys, it is this situation. If I create an object for the class B, what will happen? Let B okay, BC is equal to new. I'm just creating an object for the child class. Now I don't have to call anything, guys. You see here, constructor is already called, right? Constructor inside the child class is already called. So this has to be automatically executed. I don't have to specifically call this particular constructor in the child class. The moment I create an object for the child class, the child class constructor should be called, right? So inside child class constructor should be printed. Let's see whether that is happening. It will not happen, guys. You will get an error. Okay, I'll explain why you got an error. First, let's run this. And after that, I'll explain what's the problem. You see, you got an error. The error is, okay, the error is must call the super constructor. Okay, from the child class constructor, you have to call the super class constructor. Okay, from the child class, you have to call the parent class constructor, guys. That's the thing. Okay, now here there are two classes. One class is a child of the another class. In that case, if you are creating an object for the child class, and thinking that the child class constructor will be called, that will not happen, guys, because you will you are going to get an error in the output, right? The reason here is when you are creating an object for the child class, you should call the parent class constructor. Okay, from the child class, you have to call the parent class constructor. How we have to call it by using the super keyword like this. Okay, super. You have to provide this super, guys. That means what will happen is when you create an object like this, the child class constructor will be called. And inside the child class constructor, the super keyword will be there, which will call the automatically it will call the parent class constructor. Okay. And after that, this statement will be printed. Okay. After this, this statement will be printed. Okay. With uh, uh, if you don't do, if you don't write this super here, you're going to get an error, guys. Okay. You cannot run this program. Okay. That is the thing with constructors, guys. You have to definitely first execute the parent class constructor, then only you can execute the child class constructor. Okay. That is the rule, guys. Okay. When you have to execute some child class constructor, before that you have to execute the parent class constructor. Okay. If you don't provide this super, the parent class constructor will not be executed, hence you will get an error in the output. Okay. So to avoid that, you have to provide this super here. Okay. Super. Okay. This will call the super class constructor. And then the child class constructor will be executed. Now let's run this. This time it will work, guys. The program will work this time because we added the super. No demo dot JS. You see, first inside parent class constructor got executed. After that, inside child class constructor got executed. This is the thing, guys. Now, let's uh, create a real time kind of program, guys. Uh, rather than creating A and B, right? I'll create something interesting. Uh, what I will do here is I'll just delete this and freshly create a new JavaScript file, demo dot js, and here I'll create a class say animal. Okay, animal class. I'll just create a class known as animal. And here I'll create a constructor, guys. Inside the animal class, I'm going to create a constructor. And here we have to pass the type of animal. Okay. When the constructor is called, we have to pass the type of the animal to the constructor. Okay. When you create an object, you have to pass which type of animal that is. Okay. Now here I'll say this dot type of animal is equal to 
type of animal i have to initialize okay type of animal done okay this dot type of animal is equal to type of animal okay fine here i'll create one method also to print the animal type okay to print the animal type i'll create a method also here i'll simply print console dot log of okay type of animal is type of animal is which type this dot type of animal okay plus this dot whatever the constructor received argument is there that we are printing here right this type of animal okay this dot type of animal will be printed so when you call this method this will be printed fine i'll create one more class guys as a child class of this animal class i'll create another class say i'll create a butterfly class okay butterfly class butterfly extends animal class okay here animal is the parent of the butterfly class fine so far so good okay here butterfly is the child of the animal class so far so good i'll create a constructor i'll create a constructor and here i'll mention i'll mention uh color of the butterfly okay because butterfly has lot of colors right i'll just mention the color of the butterfly okay i have while creating an object for this butterfly class i have to pass the type of the color i mean color of the butterfly i have to pass okay and here i'll say this dot color is equal to color so far so good and here i'll create a method guys which will print the color of the butterfly okay i'll say butterfly color okay butterfly color like this i'll print the color of the butterfly here I'll say console dot log of okay color of the butterfly is color of the butterfly is plus this dot butterfly i will say okay sorry uh, this dot color i will say okay not this dot color okay i have to print the color of the butterfly like this okay done so far so good guys now what i want to do is i would like to create an object for this child class guys okay i want to create an object for the child class so let me create let okay bf is equal to butterfly is equal to new butterfly okay like this i'll create an object for the butterfly and the using this object reference i don't have to do anything else guys okay i don't have to do anything else using this object reference bf dot i would like to call this uh uh this method butterfly color method okay so i'm just thinking uh, what will happen here i have to pass right this constructor cannot be empty constructor of this butterfly class cannot be empty you have to pass the color right color of the butterfly you have to pass let me uh, pass that as yellow color guys okay yellow color so if you run this program do you think the color of the butterfly is yellow will be printed in the output because here i am creating an object for the butterfly and passing the yellow so constructor will be called yellow will go here and uh, the color will be assigned to the butterfly class this dot color will be yellow and after that using the object reference i am calling butterfly butterfly color method color of the butterfly is the yellow should be printed right but it will not happen guys can you guess the reason why it will not happen why it will not happen guys because you are creating an object for the child class right that means here child class constructor is called here child class constructor is called when the child class constructor is called and if you are not running the parent class constructor okay if you are trying to run the child class constructor without running the parent class constructor you are going to get an error that you already know from the previous example right the same thing will happen here also guys you are trying to call the child class constructor but without running the parent class constructor you cannot run the child class constructor guys so if you run this you are going you are going to get an error guys okay let me run this now let me run this i'll say clear and say no demo dot js you see you got an error because you must call the super class constructor that is parent class constructor need to be called first before you run this child class constructor but how can you call the parent class constructor I have to call the parent class constructor using the super keyword but this super cannot be empty guys this super calling statement cannot be empty okay super constructor calling statement cannot be empty why here this constructor receives a as a parameter you have to pass the type of the animal how can you pass the type of the animal if you have to pass the type of the animal this particular constructor should receive that type of animal that's why you have to write here type of animal here comma color now 
this thing you have to pass in this super constructor calling statement okay now what happens whenever you create an object for the child class the child class constructor will be called where you are passing only yellow guys but here child class is not only having the color guys you have you have to also pass the type of the animal that means when you are creating an object for the child class constructor you have to pass the type of the animal also which is needed by the super class constructor that is parent class constructor here i'll say insect okay butterfly is insect and color is yellow so now insect will go here yellow will go here and super of insect this dot color is yellow okay so so here when child class constructor is called inside that you are calling the parent class constructor and the type of the animal is passed as insect and uh, now guys you can do few more things like here you can say bf dot not only the butterfly color guys you can also type uh, animal type animal type method also you can call now you can call animal type method also it will work because it is over it is a inheritance right using the child class object reference you can call the parent class method also because it is inherited by the child class so everything will work intact now you will not get any uh, get any error guys this is how the things will happen in real time guys okay whenever you have the parent class and parent class constructor and child class constructor this is what you have to use do using the super constructor okay super constructor calling statement you have to write okay otherwise the program is not going to work so now let me clear it out and run the javascript program now you will see the output will come in a proper way okay no demo.js you see color of the butterfly is yellow and type of the animal is insect now it is working fine the program is working fine so hope guys you understood how to use a super keyword and super constructor calling statement in javascript so that's it guys see you in the next video session thank you bye